first thing we're making are these healthy Snicker ice cream bars, perfect for summer, and a twist on my classic healthy Snicker recipe. So to make the caramel, I'm using one cup of dates that I have soaked in boiling water for one hour. To that, I'm adding in some nut butter. You could use peanut butter if you wanted to keep this true Snickers fashion, or use almond butter, cashew butter. Vanilla, and then I just blended that until it was nice and smooth. We're gonna add some almond flour into a bowl, which is rich in healthy fats, protein, vitamin E, and makes this dessert super satisfying and nourishing. I take about a quarter of the caramel and I'm adding that to the almond flour, and we're gonna mix that together, and this is going to make the nougat base of our Snickers. Once it's all combined, I'm just taking a loaf pan that I lined with some parchment paper, and I'm using my hand to gently press it down into one even layer. And as always, the measurements for everything will be left in the description box below. For the rest of the caramel, I am adding in my favorite dairy-free ice cream. This one is a salted caramel ice cream, but you could do vanilla, you could even do a chocolate if you wanted, and adding that to remainder, stirring it up until it's smooth, and then we are going to spread this caramel ice cream mixture on top of our nougat base and spread it out until it is nice and even. To that, I'm adding in some cashews. You could do peanuts if you wanted to keep it like traditional Snickers, but I'm doing more of a paleo version. So push those down, put that in the freezer for about an hour or until it has solidified. And then I am going to use a knife to cut this into small bar shapes. I find that these are quite decadent, so I cut them into little bite-sized forms, but you could definitely keep them in one full bar log if you wanted to. Once you've sliced those up, I went ahead and melted some dairy-free, sugar-free chocolate with one teaspoon of coconut oil, and I'm dipping each of the pieces in our melted chocolate. Because it's cold, it will start to solidify quite quickly, which is perfect, and I'm just lining this on a sheet of silicone that you're gonna be putting in the fridge or the freezer to harden. Once they're hardened after about 20, 30 minutes, you have your healthy Snicker ice cream bars, perfect for summer. I finished mine with a little bit of flake salt and they are so good. You will love this recipe. Next up, we are making one of my all-time favorite no-bake desserts, and that is chocolate mousse. This is vegan, decadent, and so delicious. And all you need is a few ingredients. So I'm taking some coconut cream and some raw cacao powder, adding in about a tablespoon of maple syrup, and that's all you need. I'm whipping that together with my hand mixer, but if you have a stand one, you can also do that as well. If you have neither, this will work with a blender. However, with the mixer, it does get that mousse texture and nice and fluffy. Otherwise, you will have more of a pudding. Once you have blended that together for about three, four minutes on high speed, go ahead and add that to a jar or a glass. Place it in the fridge for about 10, 20 minutes to help it solidify. And then afterwards, you can pull it out. I like to finish mine with a few raw cacao nibs. And what I love about this dessert is that it's super satisfying and nourishing. It's decadent with the coconut cream. And we have all the amazing benefits of the raw cacao, like magnesium, antioxidants, all the vitamins and minerals you get. And as you can see, it has a wonderful fluffy texture, the perfect dessert. And then we are making this quick berry trifle. This is a perfect light summer dessert that has a vanilla cake, some fresh berries, and some coconut fluff. So we are gonna make our single serve vanilla cake. You guys know this recipe from my single serve cake recipe. And so we're gonna make one of those today to use in our trifle. So I'm using egg, some vanilla, some coconut sugar, whisking that together until it is nice and smooth. And to that, adding in some almond flour and some baking powder. This is really gonna allow us to give it a nice cakey texture. And the combo of the egg and the almond flour makes this full of protein, full of healthy fats, and makes it super satisfying. I'm putting that in my ramekin, and while that's in the oven, I'm gonna go ahead and cut up our fruit. So I'm using strawberries and blueberries, but you can use any kind of berry that you like. You could do raspberry, blackberry, you could even just do one berry, but whatever it is, make sure you get that ready while your cake is cooking. 
Then allow the cake to cool, cut it into cubes and put it into whatever kind of glass that you want. And then I'm layering on my blueberries, which are full of antioxidants, strawberries, which are great for your skin. It makes it nice and glowing. And then I'm adding in some coconut whip, which is just some coconut cream whipped together in a hand mixer for a few minutes. Finish it off with a cherry on top and you have this delicious single serve berry trifle. You could definitely double, triple, or quadruple this recipe to make it for more than one, but it's also perfect just for you.